imagine not being able to hear something as simple as a church service. Find out what one Birmingham area church is doing to change that. Those signs are all that link thousands of deaf people to religious services each week. Reverend Stewart with St. John's Episcopal has been reaching out with sign language to help them hear the gospel. Philip Duncan, and he called because his deaf church in Mobile, St. Mark's Deaf Church, um, lost their their priest was retiring. By Reverend Stewart's husband, for those who are unable to watch the stream live. Uh, one is in Connecticut, St. Paul's. One is New York City, St. Anne's, which is the oldest deaf church in the Episcopal Church. Though some churches do offer captioning for deaf members of their congregation, Sign language is not a direct translation into American English, so the message of the service can get lost. Though it has been a long time in the making, Stewart says the process is well worth the result, and she is hopeful the services will soon reach hundreds. For the University of Alabama, I'm Jenny Mark reporting. We did have um, 8,800 uh, for, I believe they were um, carts or environmental services that came in. Um, the TRA count has a negative 756,000 in that, and uh, um, Rebuild um, construction um, has well over 20 million. There's a copy of the rebuild in the president's case.